and everyone thought I'd be an artist. Um, and yet, I came from an environment where art di didn't exist, so it was a very personal thing. And um, the more history of art I did, the more I was blown away by real artists. Um, and I felt like a fraud because I didn't have that, I could make nice things, but I didn't have a, a, that drive, that kind of primal need to make them. Um, so I didn't become an artist. And then the art world was, was something that, you know, if I wasn't an artist, you might somewhere I wouldn't really be. I wasn't, you know, I didn't, I just wasn't not in that art world. And um, I, I did I had nothing to do with art for a long time and I really missed it. And I suppose, suppose that's why I want to grow it because that's how I see it. I've, I've felt the importance of art without being in that world or brought up in that world. Um, and so I see my clients as, and potential clients as the same as me. Not someone who needs to be educated or primed or come from some kind of classical background, um, you know, usually rich or upper class background, or an artist, actually just normal people. I mean, she is, to me, an absolute perfect example of an artist and someone who has that primal need to create from no sense of, you know, she, she's, she didn't want to become an artist. I asked her to come and do a solo show and obviously gave her complete autonomy because she's the expert. She's not coming from a kind of um, political or, um, you know, like identity politics. That's not her thing at all. And actually the subject that she's looking at is is um, cycles of women and um, you know that's time old that's that's nature um, so her work you know will be as relevant as it, as it is today in a hundred years and that again when you're looking at art it's you know I was trying to say to people imagine someone looking at it a hundred years from now because it's you know and, it, and it's those timeless pieces that are always answering the questions or to, you know, it's an overused phrase, but a universal truth that remains, and Rebecca's work is definitely um, that. She used to do a lot about um, mythology and Greek goddesses and these kind of, um, she was looking more to I icons of women that she maybe wasn't finding in society at the time. And actually, I suppose, as the, as, as the world is moving forward, she's, she's finding those kind of icons in normal women. Um, which is really nice to see. Truth, it's, it's honesty and truth and beauty. It's, uh, you know, it's a way we've communicated from the beginning of time um, and it crosses uh, cultures, language, everything. Um, that, you know, paintings and that visual image. Um, so yeah, it's, it's communication, I suppose. That's what it means.